Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We will look at solving quadratic binomial equations. So we need to start off by understanding what these mean. So what makes it a quadratic equation is if it has an x squared term, and what makes it a binomial is if it has two terms. So what we're going to do to solve these equations, we're going to factorize, then use the null factor law. So quadratic binomial equations look like this. So here we have an equation, the x squared term makes it a quadratic, it has one, two terms, that's why it's a binomial. Quadratic binomials can also look like this, say x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. So what makes these a little complicated is the way we factorise. These two require different methods of factorization. So there's two methods you need to know. Highest common factor is used on ones like these, and difference of two squares on ones like these. So when you have a quadratic binomial equation, try to use highest common factor first, and then if you can't, you can probably use difference of two squares. So let's look at this example here. What we're gonna do is factorize this quadratic expression and then use the null factor law, just like we went through last lesson. So the reason we use the highest common factor method here is because this term, x squared and 6x, have a common factor. The common factor is x. So this is what we do to factorize using highest common factor. We write the common factor out the front, then we divide the first term by the common factor. In other words, what do I times by x to get x squared? Well, I times by x. What do I times by x to get positive 6x? Well, the answer is positive 6. So now I've got an equation that looks like this. It's factorized. I have something times something equals zero. So the null factor law says either the first thing is equal to zero or the second thing is equal to zero. So if x plus six equals zero, subtract six from both sides, you get x is minus six. So remember, quadratic equations sometimes have two solutions, sometimes one. So let's look at this equation here. It's a quadratic because of the x squared term. It's a binomial because it has one, two terms. So we first try highest common factor. So we ask, do these two have a common factor? Well, yes, they do. So both of these terms have an x. So we're going to put an x out the front. But 3 and 6 also have a common factor. Their highest common factor is 3. 3 is the highest number that goes into 3 and 6. So I put the highest common factor out the front, then in the brackets I divide each term by the highest common factor. So I'm saying what do I times by 3x to get 3x? Well that's just 1. What do I times by 3x to get minus 6x squared? So that's a bit tricky. So to get from 3 to minus 6 I need to times by minus 2. And to get from x to x squared I need to have an x in there. So what I've done is I've factorized this expression. Now I can use the null factor law. Either the first thing is equal to zero or the second thing is equal to zero. So if the first thing is equal to zero, 3x equals zero, that just means x equals zero. Now the second one's a bit trickier. If the second thing equals zero, I have one minus two x equals zero. So let's solve this. This is just a linear equation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract one from both sides. And then I'm going to divide each side not by 2, but by minus 2. So I get minus 1 over minus 2, or positive a half. So the two solutions here are x equals 0, or x equals positive a half. So let's look at ones like this. x squared minus 16 equals 0. So I can't use highest common factor here. x squared and 16, no common factors. So can't use this method, but there is another one I can use. The reason it's called difference of two squares, you use it when you have a perfect square minus a perfect square. 16 is a perfect square because it's four squared. So this is how you factorize difference of two squares. You make two brackets, you square root the first, so square root of x squared is x. You square root the second term, so square root of 16 is four. One gets a plus, one gets a minus. So if that equals zero, Either the first bracket equals 0, which means x equals minus 4, or the second bracket equals 0, which means x would be 
positive 4. So the two solutions here are negative 4 and positive 4. So let's try this one. 100 minus x squared equals 0. We have a perfect square minus a perfect square. Difference means minus. So the way we factorize it, we get two brackets. We square root the first, square root the second. 1 gets a plus, 1 gets a minus. Now that we've factorized it, we use highest common factor. So this one here so it says plus. If 10 plus x equals 0, then that means x equals minus 10. If 10 minus x equals 0, x equals positive 10. So they're the solutions minus 10 and positive 10. So let's look at this one here. You might think it's done differently because this is a 4x squared, but not the case. So 4x squared and 49, it's a quadratic equation equation with two terms it's a quadratic binomial we can't use highest common factor because there is no common factor between these two terms we can use difference of two squares because we have a perfect square minus a perfect square so the way we factorize two brackets square root the first so square root of 4x squared is 2x because 2x multiplies by itself to give 4x squared so Square root the second, square root of 49 is 7. So we put that in both brackets. One bracket gets a plus, one gets a minus. So null factor law is used now that we've factorized. If the first thing is equal to 0, subtract 7 divide by 2, we get negative 7 over 2. And if the second bracket's equal to 0, we get positive 7 over 2. So now I'm going to show you an example in which we actually use both of these methods. So let's look at this question here. It's a quadratic because it has an x squared term, a binomial because it has two terms. Now I can't use difference of two squares straight up because two is not a perfect square. But what I can do is use highest common factor. This term and this term have a highest common factor of two. This time there's no x in the common factor. So what do I times by two to get two x squared? That's x squared. What do I times by 2 to get negative 2? And that's negative 1. So I factorized it, but note now I do have the difference of two squares. x squared is a perfect square, so is 1. So now I'm going to leave the 2 alone and just factorize this. So now difference of two squares. Square root the first, square root the second, 1 gets a plus and 1 gets a minus. So I want to point out this 2 doesn't affect the solution at all. So we either have x plus 1 equals 0. If the first bracket equals 0, x is minus 1. If the second bracket is equal 0, x equals positive 1. And then we're done. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.